Okay, back into Koi Woods. Hey, that's... <laughs> I remember when Estelle ate that Nia fruit. Well, that was quite a face she made. Oh, come to think of it, it's been a long time since we've been on our own, huh, pal? I haven't been feeling like myself, even when I'm fighting. It's like I'm tired all of a sudden. You mind keeping an eye out for a while, Repeat? It's where we first made sandwiches. Yuri, you... Huh? Idiot! Huh? Whoa, he almost beheaded you! What the? What? Carol? You brain dead piece of crap! Hey, hold on a sec! You trying to be some stupid lone wolf or something? Lone wolf? Wait, I. Save the excuses for later. Huh? For now, you can drop dead. Whoa! Such excitement. Hey there, Sunshine. Still living? Maybe. Well, it looks like you're awake now. How nice. Jeez, Repeat. What happened to keeping a lookout? He led us right to you, like a good boy. He's pretty clever, you know. Yeah, he told us if we came this way, we'd see the biggest fool in the world. Do you guys know what's going on? Do you really understand what has to happen after this? You're the one who doesn't understand! Carol... You can't... This is one thing you can't just do on your own, Yuri! What were you trying to prove? How far did you think you'd get without us? Yuri, even if you leave us behind thinking you don't need us, we're still gonna search the whole world from top to bottom until we find you. What it boils down to is, it's no fair keeping all the fun and glory to yourself. Would it hurt for you to believe in us a little bit more? We believe in you, Yuri! Yeah, I mean, we're your friends! You got me, guys. All right, then. We're all in this together. Until the end. I. Right! Um, duh! So let's go do this thing! The way out of the forest is right over there. Consider it sidekick title. I wonder if the world will benefit if Prince Yoder becomes Emperor. Who knows? What kind of weak answer is that? I thought you'd be at least a little optimistic. Well, he'll have Flynn around. That should help things a little. But only a little? I'm not so wide-eyed and innocent to think that major change is going to happen overnight. That sounds like you all right. Okay, date and hold. Something's going on over there. Hey, why are we stopping here? I heard the knights were gathering at date on hold. Flynn, right? But this place is completely deserted. Looks like we missed him. I wonder if he's headed to the capital. Then we might run into him on the way. Ugh, whatever. If we're done here, can we hurry up and get moving already? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Would be good to... See, n anything new here? Not really. Buy some more magic lens, I guess. Okay, we need to get to the roof again. Yes, he's at the exact same spot. It seems you were not able to stop her. What are you talking about? We're just getting warmed up. Now you just sit and watch like a good boy. Yuri, don't be rude! He lent us the sword! Yeah, you're right. Why? Hmm? Why what? Why do you smile at a time like this? I'm just a wild and carefree kind of guy. Foolishness. <laughs> Can't help it, I guess. I was born like this. Let's go. We can tell. Hmm? 
On the outside, he might not get angry or flustered or cry, but we can tell. And right now, he's so frustrated it's all he can do not to scream. But Yuri keeps all that hidden away so it looks like there's nothing wrong. And for me, now, when I see no hope at all, his attitude is why I can still stand up and fight. <sighs> Carol, what's the holdup? I'm coming! Why are you telling me this? Yeah, you're right. Someday I'll tell him myself. Someday. True friendship. However, the time will come when hope turns to despair. Yeah, and he disappeared. Well, if it isn't the Imperial Knights, I guess they're getting ready to invade the capital. But it looks like they're at a standstill. I wonder if something's wrong. Oh yeah. Yuri, wouldn't it be great if Flynn came with us? Did you forget that he's leading the Knights? I really doubt there's any way he could come with us. As soon as the scouts return, gather all of the lieutenants. Yuri! Everyone! Thank goodness you're all right. Her Highness must still be in Zophius, then. Yeah, for now at least. What are you doing out here? The Royal Guard has taken up their positions ahead. We're just waiting on the scouts I sent to observe the enemy forces. Captain, you don't have the time to be speaking with... No need to worry. We don't plan on staying long. You're going to the capital, too? Yes. There's something I'd like to discuss alone with you. Do you mind? Captain! It's fine. I'll be back soon. If there are any movements, be sure to notify me. Let's go. Prince Yoder informed me of what's been going on. About Lady Esteliz's powers, too. If it really comes down to it, you might have to. Hey, the whole reason we're going to the capital is to prevent that from happening. I know that. I'm only talking about the worst-case scenario. I've already made my choice. Or have you forgotten? No. I remember. I'm prepared for the worst, but I'm going in the hope that it can be avoided. What are you going to do? I've been thinking about this for a long time now. What is a law? What is a crime? Where is the line between right and wrong? After much consideration, I came to the undeniable conclusion that such a clear distinction cannot be made. Even now, my belief that we all need laws hasn't changed. But, even so, I cannot bring myself to call you evil. That's why I hoped that we could make a world where we wouldn't have to keep repeating the same mistakes. Yet look at what's happening now. Then why not come with us? The capital's full of air, so your knights wouldn't be able to enter. But if you come with us, even if we can't get everyone through, we might be able to manage some of them. Dang Nomos, huh? Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen from here on out, so you're going to have to decide for yourself what to do. I... Excuse me, sir. A large group of battle machines has emerged from the enemy lines. The numbers are staggering. What? Machines? What the? This turned into Symphonia all of a sudden. No way. Oh, no. Uh, no way. These guys are from Heracles. Oh, you're right. right. We're in big trouble. They do look a bit like the robots from Symphonia, don't they? How could they have been hiding so many of their forces? It looks like we're going to have some difficulty breaking through that. Some? Oh, no, that's gonna be brutal. By the time we get to the capital, we'll already be half dead. It's not like we have to face those things head on. Patty, do you see any way around them? Hmm... There's nothing but enemies anywhere I look. I have a feeling it might be impossible. But we're so close to the capital. They've started to move. They're coming this way. Hey, shouldn't we withdraw back to the hold? Captain. Yuri, are you going to the capital to stop Alexei? And to save Her Highness? Yeah. Then, 
no matter how this ends, I believe that what you've decided is the best possible outcome. Flynn. You should go. Knights! An enemy battalion stands before us, and Alexei lies in wait behind them. I won't tell you this will be easy, and I understand if you want to flee. But I want you to remember what it is that we must do, what it is that we're protecting. We're knights. With our swords, we protect the people. I will not force any of you to fight, but if you share the same spirit as I do, then let us fight this battle together! Flynn really is amazing! Imperial Knights, straight ahead! Let's head for the capital. What the? Look at all the fog. Is that everyone fighting? A double sigh? Knock it off. We have to make up our minds about Estelle. <laughs> From what people who fled from the capital said, it's probably already too late. Stop it! Don't say that! I think Yuri has decided where he stands already. How would you know that? You mean, the reason he tried to go alone was... We have to make up our minds, too. I know what we have to do, but still... Okay, are all these different... Whoa. Hey, what's up, old man? I want to hear what you're planning, you know, about Estelle. <sighs> We're all floating in the same boat, right? Care to share? I'm not sure I won't lose my nerve if I start talking about it now. You're just gonna have to bear with me till the time comes. You're prepared to do what's necessary, but you haven't given up hope. That about sums it up. I guess that's your style. But don't try to take it all on by yourself, all right? <laughs> it's weird hearing kind words from you, Raven. <laughs> True enough. The capital's like this, and Estelle's power's been released. The world might be done for. Oh, the gloom. Rita, darling, how can you be so gloomy? Okay, first, never call me darling. Second, excuse me for not being as optimistic as you. Hey now, old Raven's not without his own worries. Oh, really? Sure. But what's the point of getting all down? We're doing all we can to make this work out, right? You just gotta believe in yourself. Wait, that's basically a Rita trademark, ain't it? Okay, fine, you're right. Oh, how could I let you outsmart me? There now, there's hope for the world yet. As long as our little genius doesn't lose that attitude. Okay, so what happens when we try to head inside the fog? I can't, it's like a, a, an object. Got it. Any air sick monsters here? Yes, a lot of the monsters got upgraded. Kind of crazy. Oh no. Okay, now to the capital. Too much free time? What? Is it because I surpassed 100? Heh. <laughs> okay, any other air sick monsters I should worry about here? I already did ac uh, scant Axby Guat! Flynn entrusted Estelle to you, right? Yeah. He's taken on his own share of burdens, so we can focus on rescuing Estelle. Still, it must be hard for you. I'll carry his resolve with me. Good. I'm sure we can save Estelle then. <coughs> okay, let's go in then. I don't think there's any more skits or enemies, hope at least I hope. It's hard to believe we're really in the capital. This is so horrible! The plants are all overgrown. It's gotta be the air. It's so dense. Too much of this stuff would kill anybody. We'd definitely be in trouble without that sword. Yeah, stick close to me. Especially you, old man. Hey, I've been on pins and needles since we got here. Hold my hand, would ya? Give me a break. Hold my hand. I'm not letting you run away anymore, Yuri. 
Give it a rest. I'm not going off by myself anymore. Look! Monsters got in here! How? The barrier is back up and running fine! They look like they're going crazy, like the ones we saw back at Cave Mock. Yuri, what is it? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Let's go. We can't keep Estelle waiting. Hmm? The lower quarter's at the bottom of that slope. It's his home. It's... It looks like it's been overrun by the plants. <sighs> You think he could stand to be a little less cold and prickly all the time? I mean, I know he's worried about the lower quarter, and we all want to wring Alexei's neck, but still... Oh, I'd say it's all right from time to time. What's all right about it? The fact that he acts like this, knowing the tension it causes, is a sign that he's softened. The old Yuri would never have let us see that he was upset about something. It's hard to stay emotional when your friends analyze you like you weren't even there. Ah. They're showing up as random and as, as touch encounters too. Knights are somewhat useful, I guess. Somewhat? Careful, you make Flynn cry. Well, it's a pretty big compliment coming from Rita. I'd say they're kicking a lot of butt out there. Yeah, they're risking their lives to do their duty. Let's enter the capital while we can. Right. We'll save Estelle and defeat Alexei. Their fight will not be in vain. Ooh. I Come on. Mm. Still murder bears out here. Damn, it shut up tight. Look up there! I might be able to squeeze through! Nice. You can go through there and open it from the other side. We're counting on you! Hey, we're out of time. Why don't we just blow it open? Just because there's nobody out here doesn't mean nobody's in there. It'd be a pain if we were discovered. The air is all over the city, isn't it? It's gotta be in the castle, too. Alexei must have taken some sort of precautions against that. Oh! Carol did it! Got it! Everybody hurry! Good work. Okay, this is it, folks. We keep going. There's no air in here. He must have figured out how to use Estelle's power to do this. It may have been that the outer barrier was to keep the air in. That hunch you had is looking more likely by the minute, old man. We're gonna have company before long. Why is it I'm only ever right about the bad stuff happening? If you only think negatively, only bad stuff's going to happen. So just think positively. Well said. I'm sure you're right about that. Hmm. I've always thought of myself as an optimist, to be honest. It's not like saying that now's gonna change anything. We gotta brace ourselves and push forward. Yeah, those bogus knights who've sided up with the bad guys don't stand a chance. I. It's too bad, in a way. I finally get to see the castle, but not for the reason I was hoping. enemies here okay so if I I can return to the prison area if I go east a bit I think hmm. yeah I think I rem vaguely remember this place blue guys why are they not all the same color so weird Hmm. Transform boat 1A and moon guard. Hmm. Uh, 
All right. Hmm. Capria. That's a weapon for <coughs> Patty. Special and Brainiac speed cast. Hmm. Next up, we must look for the dining hall. Oh, I don't see anyone here. Hold on. Someone's there. Huh? They seriously run to a wall? What the? Yuri? Oh, it's Yuri! Huh? Hanks? Hanks! Everyone! You're all okay! Hey, that's my line! Why are you inside the castle? Yeah, you all too. Yes, well, Sir Flynn ordered me to lead the evacuation of the citizens. However, I realized that the inhabitants of the lower quarter were nowhere to be found. It wasn't part of my orders, but uh, you see... The exit collapsed and a strange fog covered the ground. We were in quite a fix. Well, thanks to these knights, we escaped the fog and came here. They saved our lives. I... I am prepared to receive punishment for violating my orders. I say, we will we take, will the, take same the same punishment. punishment! Punishment? I'm just an old man, boys. Anyway, isn't it the duty of the knights to protect the citizens? You did well. Th this is an honor! Captain Schwa- uh, Captain Raven! Don't call me Captain. I'm just Raven. Sir, I apologize, Sir Just Raven. Looks like somebody respects you. I never would have believed it. Guess you can't judge a book by its cover. This is great, Yuri. Huh, I forgot how tough everyone was. What was I worried about? I don't know why, Yuri, but you look happier than I've ever seen you before. Yeah, she's right. Did you see the former Commandant? Sir, no sir, but we overheard the royal guard outside. Something about the sword stair? The sword stair? That really tall thing we got blasted off of. So that means he's still up there. Sounds like smoke and scoundrels both like high places. The problem is only important people can get to the sword stair. There's some special mechanism. I can take care of locks. Rita can take care of formulas. We can do it. You said it. Hanks, all of you should stay here and hide. Let's go. Isn't this great? Now everyone in the lower quarter is safe. Yeah, now all that's left is crushing Alexei and saving Estelle. You must be so proud that your men are finally doing some actual work. I've tried to tell you, I don't have any men. There was a real sparkle in their eyes when they were looking at you, old man. How can someone respected by so many be so cold to his friends? All right, Raven's starting to think he's had about enough of these shenanigans. It may not be much, but I managed to escape with my products. Hmm, we have upgraded stock as well. Let's see, get some magic lens. Some new stuff here and there. Aerial step and combo force. Compact sword still, really? Hmm. Golden helm, I should probably upgrade my stuff right now. I had to leave all my wares back in town. I'm really worried about looters. Of course, with the state the lower quarters in, I suppose nobody can really get near it. Those nice Yuri, they're the ones that were bullying you, weren't they? I was surprised that they turned out to be so nice. We are, we'd already be out of Zaphius, Zaphius if all this hadn't happened. If only we'd set out a little earlier, we wouldn't have be trapped here. I always thought the knights were a bunch of nasty losers. I mean, other than you and Flynn, Yuri. It was a little surprising to find out a lot of them really had a backbone. 
I felt we were about to set off on a grand journey, and then all this had to happen. I suppose I'll spend my time here quizzing my new friend about this his travel knowledge. Pray that the world we eventually get to see on our journey is a more peaceful one. Everyone needs to eat it to regain their strength, especially at a time like this. No matter what happens, this is still a restaurant. Now it's my turn to shine. Yuri, if you're going through a tough times, you can always tell this old lady about it. It's the only way I can repay you for all you've done for us. I lost my glasses somewhere along the way while we were escaping here. First the dentures, now my glasses. Guess I'm good at losing things. What a bother. If our town ever gets back to normal, I'm going to... Uh, to uh, ...found the Yuri Defense Force. Why? Just look at you, Yuri. You're so shiny and wonderful. I became friends with those two knights, a tall skinny one and a short fat one. They might be full of themselves, but they're nice guys. Commandant Alexei seemed like such an upstanding man, but it was only an act. When an Empire's top com commander goes mad, it's hard not to think that the Empire is about to fall. And I think Estelise was actually a princess. I guess now I should say Her Highness Estelise. She always did have a refined air about her, sort of reminded me of my grandmother. Whom if I say, I cannot abide relying on you to save us. I say we will repay this debt. I'm calling a provisional truce, but we'll bring you in as soon as this is over. We're counting on you. Stop the Commandant. When the Commandant, when Commandant Alexei took over the castle, I wasn't sure where or not to follow him. Now I know I did the right thing by believing in Lieutenant LeBlanc. Okay, ate some curry. Okay, now we must get to the central room. Ugh, the... They respawn, and there's robots, too. Hmm, the central hallway. What? Robots, too? Lapis Lazuli? Decrease time of immobility after use of item by 50%. Nice. What's this? Audience chamber? Ah, oh, two chests. So you have come at last. A Critian? No, wait, you were... Meet Chroma, special advisor to the Imperial <clears throat> Knights. Alexei's personal assistant. Alexei's? But that would mean... Then she's an enemy? No, I am not. For the time being, in any case. That's not a very comforting way to put it. Sorry, but we got somewhere to go. If you're here to fight, fine. If not, maybe it could wait until later. Who is it you would fight for? What do you mean? That poor, pathetic young girl. She doesn't need your pity. You are being really vague. Come on, spit it out already. I cannot know what that one saw in all of you, but I wish for you to stop him. Okay, that made no sense. Did anybody get what she was trying to say? Maybe she wants us to stop Alexei? Hmm, maybe. It would add up, I guess. Yes, Estelle should be just up ahead. Aye, but stopping is so half-hearted. We're going to destroy him. Maybe it was more like, go nail that guy's butt to the wall. I could handle that. Come on. Now they started spawning. Great. From one to four, front to back, dark to light, straight from this and the disaster shall follow. Elder Cloak. Mystic Mark. Reduce cast time. Okay, we need to get into this room here. Ah, I don't know if you respawn or not. Probably do. I'm gonna go a little crazy. Okay, go to this one. Limit bottle. Breaker bow. Okay, they said this was the first one I had to activate. This way. Hey, that's the statue I used to escape one time. 
This is number two? Okay. Number three is all the way back north, apparently. Okay, let's go here. Grab chests. Vagabond plus one. Scanning. Wait, what does that do? That sounds really good. Displays remain hit point over enemy with magic lens. Hmm. 15,000 gold. Half moon. Okay, the last one should be near the prison. Right through this hallway. Okay, that's our victory music. Now we make our way back. All the way back. Now I have to shoot that door back here. Oh boy. One save point. It isn't even a healing save point. What a dick move, huh? Heh. <laughs> How many enemies are on the way up there, too? I don't not want to know. Hmm, did I make well equipped? A long hallway, and there's Estelle and Alexei. Couldn't put the save point a little closer, huh? No, every time we fail, we gotta walk all that distance. Astounding. I thought that crash would have been the last of you. If we hadn't been lucky, you just might have gotten your wish. You can let her go now and save yourself some pain. Or we can break you first. It's your call. Sorry to be a bore, but let's say I refuse both of those. I'd be happy to decide for you. The princess was splendid. Her power equals the ancient children of the full moon. Every person has a role, and the princess has played her part exceedingly well. If she's done her part, then we'll take her back right now. As you wish. Estelle! Oh no! Hey! Estelle! Snap out of it! Wait, it looks like she's being controlled. Ugh, that's not fair! That's not fair, Alexei! What would you do with the princess now? Her power has subsumed her will entirely. Her power has finally been controlled by a system I have put into place. 
Blastia that go out of control must be destroyed. You should know that. Don't talk about Estelle like she's just some thing! Oh, but the princess was a tool most crucial to my plans. As were you, Schwan. And since you survived, I will use you again. Return like the puppet you are. Sorry, but you buried that poor schmuck alive yourself. I'm Raven. Pleased to meet you. We all have a role to play, but each person has a say in what that role is. Even though so many live such meaningless mundane lives? I think not. If they choose that life, then so what? That's what deciding for yourself means! You have no right to decide whether they're meaningless or not! How unfortunate. We will never see eye to eye. No! Estelle, don't do this! Damn it! She's already casting. That's a lot of hit points for someone who's only had a, a few thousand hit points w as a party member. I can't! I can't hurt her! Oh boy. I really don't want to do this. I don't want to hurt her, it goes in the over limit. Okay. Estelle! Estelle, come on! Uh, Estelle, snap out of it! I guess we don't have a choice. Alexei, this is all Alexei's doing! Uh, that damn Commandant! How the heck did we get that to happen? Oh man. Good lord, we are. She's almost dead already? Damn! We're just. Uh. You gonna land. Oh dear. Oh shit! Holy crap, that has a lot of damage. Oh no, she is mad. She is spamming her spells. And she's dead. Damn. That was intense. Mm. Perhaps that was not enough power. Thanks to you, this new key to replace Dane Nomos is now complete. As a show of my appreciation, I will allow you to witness the fruition of my plan. The awakening of the true child of the full moon. Gonna turn it into uh, turn that sword into a nuke. Wait, haven't we seen that pool of water before? I don't remember. And is that a giant epiphaya on top? Oh, 
Uh, what is that? We saw that at Miorzo. It's that ring we saw in the mural. <laughs> Success! At last, at last, I have done it! Behold, the greatest remnant of the ancients, the enduring Shrine of Zalde. The ultimate Blastia, which once obliterated the catastrophe that threatened our world. Obliterated, huh? That's a Blastia? Maybe you could save this little speech until you get some alone time. You're embarrassing yourself. The show, I am afraid, is over. It is time for the final curtain. Now, princess, do your friends the favor of separating their heads from their bodies. Bastard! None of this would have happened if you hadn't insisted on coming here. Oh, how the poor girl will feel when she comes to her senses. Farewell. Damn you, Alexei, wait! Get back here! Alexei! Uh, Alexei! Estelle, don't! Please. Before I can hurt anyone else, please. Kill me. I'll set you free. Yuri! Yuri! Magic lens, you. What the hell do you think you're doing? I... <laughs> hmm. Where's light resist? I... No! No more, please! Do you really plan to die here? You think it's okay to die? Look me in the eye! Estelle! Uh, that's... Okay, that did something. Uh. Oh crap, she has sharpness. Finish this. A brilliant blade of cold as steel. Rend the infinite darkness. And crush my enemies to nothing. Savage Wolf Fury! 106 hits and didn't do a scratch to her. No more. Hey, that actually increased my defenses a little bit, huh? Maybe strategic to use a few fatal strikes here and there to protect myself. No more. Okay.
Okay, she's back to normal. Shining face! Shining face! Not done! Dragon Sword! Face! Shining face! Not done! Dragon Sword! Shining face! Face! Shining face! Not done! Dragon! Shining face! Shining face! Not done yet! Face! Shining face! Not done yet! Okay. Wow, we're still not even halfway. I feel like I'll activate your over limit soon, too. Seriously? Fuck. Take this, Azure Wolf! Even Azure Wolf was not enough. Arg. She doesn't have her mystic art here. Savage Wolf Fury! No more. Oh boy. Maybe I'll just hang and running with Azure. <laughs> with Azure Storm for now. Ah! Yeah, I knew it. I knew you were gonna pull an over fucking limit. Come on. She can freely heal in that state too, so that really sucks for me. Just when I was getting pretty damn close to winning. Damn, I didn't get the combo thing. Finally, I won. Estelle, step out of it. Uh, I took a ton of damage, but hey, I got a 100-hit combo by myself. Thanks to attention skills. Uh, battle rank bonus, of course, yes. Also use item Mother's Memento. That helped. Yes. I'm just gonna eat a cake for victory. Yes, as a reward. Second Star, Strange Mirror, and Reflect Ring. Which one was the secret mission reward? Hmm. They even changed the video to have Patty in it. Yes, yeah, very furrow. Come back to us! Estelle! Ah! 
Are you just gonna let your life end like this? Like someone else's tool? Okay, Zapheus is back to normal, but we still need to worry about Zao Day. <sighs> so that was tough because of the fact that you have only Yuri. And if Estelle catches you in an overlimit combo, you're pretty much dead. You did it, Estelle! You're you again! Wait! The system! It was being kept in check by Alexei's sword. Without that... <gasps> I can't... I can't stop it now! Everyone, run! Don't worry! We're not gonna lose you! I might be able to use his system! Amazing! It's synchronized with Estelle. Interference deactivation data. A formula to isolate surplus air. But what could possibly take the place of the Apatheia? What about this sword? This is the original that Alexei based his on, right? Let me try it. Let me help. I'll keep track of the flow of air. Me too! I'll help out. Oh, damn this useless body. Please! Everyone! What did I say? We're not gonna lose you. When Brave Asperia does something, we do it right. Okay. Yuri, the sword! Here! Everyone's uh, helping somehow, probably with their Bodhi Blastias and Raven of his heart Blastia. Welcome back. Nice to be back. The Enduring Shrine of Zaude. That's what he said. Have you heard of it? Huh, this is Flynn's room in the castle, and he still got his drawing of him and Yuri. No, that's the first time. I wonder what it is. I don't know, but I know what he's gonna use it for. World domination. Do you really think he can do that? He sure thought he could. We knights are always one step behind. We never would have been able to free the capital if it weren't for Yuri and the others. Much less stop the Blastia from spreading this danger across the land. Well, we only got into the capital because you distracted the robot army for us. It was the knights that protected the capital from Heracles, though. They're the only reason we were able to even get into the capital at all. Even with Lady Esteles. Hey, Estelle came back on her own. I'm still grateful, though. Thank you. Quit it. You're creeping me out. 
Alexei owes the world for all he's done. He owes us. Voices seem a little off here. Tomorrow, I'm going to the shrine of Zaude. I assume your friends will be with you. Yeah, everyone's resting up for tomorrow. So spare many guilt trips tonight. Okay. You want to come too? Captain, so this is where you were. <sighs> you again. Negotiations with the Union are difficult. It seems they can't even agree with each other. And one more thing. The Council intends to cede all authority to His Highness Yoder in order to control the current crisis. Due to your success in liberating the capital, His Highness has pronounced you Acting Commandant! Congratulations! Well, this cleans up one of our problems. Congrats. Watch your tone! Yuri, you're the one who really did all this. Ah, details, details, whatever. Well, I guess I'll go check on the others. See ya. Oh, Yuri, did you finish talking with Flynn? It's me. I joined the same t uh, time you all did. Hey. Hey, I saw your friends just wandering around over there. Oh, hey, there's a guy with you that looks just like Captain Schwan. Huh, who would have thunk it? He said to put him in jail, so I did. Kind of weird, huh? Oh yeah, I caught that guy before too, so it was like... Sorry, I'll shut up now. Wow. It's a little tidbit. This was the guy who originally arrested... Uh, Raven. All as part of a master plan. Ugh, that took so long just to get that one battle right. Just to not die because... The back to back. Seriously, ex it's exactly the same. These stats. Second star and strange mirror. Okay, so that. I think. Uh, second star, what the heck is that? Sounds like a really nice weapon. Combination two and special. This first one is for him a sword named with a deep message. How did you get- how did she manage to find the sword? Maybe she was secretly making this all along while we weren't looking. Yes, making it- it was intended to be a secret present that she was working on during our, our journey together. At least that's what I'd like to believe. You go down here. I was in the Royal Guard at the time. I received an order and I just followed it out of blind loyalty. I fought with you as well. It is such a disgrace. Your ar your, but your armor is different. Hmm. Carol and Rapide. Hey, can I have some curry real quick? Yeah, I took quite a beating. I deserve it. Sniff. Hey, what a cute little boss. Yuri is working for a great boss. A little on the young side, but... What's up, Carol? Oh, Yuri! Take a look! It's as good as new! Good to see you're as useful as ever. That's not yours, though, is it? It's mine! Thanks. This boy's been fixing up all the stuff that got knocked around in that commotion. He even went back to the lower quarter to pick all these things up. <laughs> Actually, Rapide found most of it. These are my favorite shoes, and you can't hardly see where they got torn. This guy's awesome. He sewed up a dress that was very important to me. Thanks again for that. Are you sure about doing this, Carol? Tomorrow's the final battle. It's okay. I was actually a little worried. I couldn't really sleep anyway, when I started thinking about the battle tomorrow. I just thought, I might as well help out if there was anything I could do. <laughs> I didn't think Rapide would want to come help, though. I was a little surprised. He probably guessed what you were thinking. He doesn't just go along with anything. <laughs> yeah, I guess.
<laughs> well, don't push your luck. Ah, uh, come on, Rapid. Oh, this boy's got a bright future ahead of him. You are looking at the esteemed boss of our guild. You might learn a thing or two from him yourself, you know. I walked right into that one. Memories support the heart, and our dearest possessions are the vessels for those memories. Thank you, young man. I'll just do a little more, and then I'll call it a night. Okay, just don't overdo it. Yeah, I know. This is like this, and this goes here. This is kind of fun. Sniff. Have pity on an old man. I don't have much, that much longer to live. Thanks, Yuri. You really came through for us. Please let me know when you want to rest. I'm going to see how they're doing. I see, so I talked to that guy to continue the story later on. Why did my comrades assist in the rebellion? No matter how charismatic Commandant Alexei was, to do something like that is just... He's actually sleeping. Man, I can't tell if he's brave or just stupid. Weren't you gonna have a touch and reunion with your bestest pal? No, it's that lieutenant of his. Ugh, she's scary. Hmm? Oh, well, I guess I can see that. What do you mean? Ah, huh, well, it's just... she's so serious. Gotta be careful not to rub her the wrong way. I'm not rubbing anything anyway. Well, you most certainly can't please all the people all the time. <laughs> I guess you're right. So what are you doing here? Well, just thinking about stuff. Hey, why are you looking at me like that? With all we've been through, I guess I'm just trying to figure out what I should do with myself. But I keep coming up empty. Change wears me out. You chose your own life. At this point, you should be able to do anything you want. How do I put it? I already died once. Now I'm thinking about a bunch of stuff. But I guess thinking about settling things with Alexei is enough for now. The rest will probably come out in the wash. That sounds okay to me. Speaking of settling things, I filled Estelle in on all the stuff that happened. Guess what she did? Hmm? She said I had to let her do the same thing everyone else did. So she smacked me on the head, called it even. <laughs> That's Estelle. It kind of hurt, actually. Well, I think I'm gonna catch my shut-eye in here. Suit yourself. Try not to oversleep for once, though. <clears throat> Feels great here. Is that Dane Nomos? This will bring the value back down, so the discrepancy with this should... <sighs> nope. It's nowhere near enough. Yuri! What are you all doing out here? Shut up and leave me alone! Oh, it's you. Nice to see you too. So what kind of experiment is this anyway? Is something wrong? No, it's being kept well under control. And it's stable. As annoying as it is to admit, Dane Nomos and the system of Alexei's are both pretty amazing. So then where's the problem? The effective area of control is more limited than I thought. The control barrier originates at the barrier Blastia. She's stable inside it, but she can't leave. I guess Dane Nomos alone couldn't take the place of all those Apatheia. So long trips are out of the question. Also, the Barrier Blastia is part of the system. As long as it's in use, this city is defenseless. That's why I'm out here trying to figure out a way for her to move around freely. Why can't Estelle just take Deinomos with her wherever she goes? It was really only designed to contain air that's gone out of control. I don't think it could actually affect Estelle in any way. I guess that's how it was with Duke, too. Don't worry. I'll come up with something. Or my name isn't Rita Mordio. I won't let Estelle wind up trapped like that again. Nobody treats my friend like just some thing. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Nothing to worry about. 
You've got the best genius under the sun with you. Yes, I know Rita can help me. I'll have this ready by tomorrow. You get yourself to bed. Okay, okay. Don't push yourself too hard. Same to you, Estelle. It's good to see Rita so dedicated and involved. Even though this is probably for her research. Play the value of pi here, the equation of- Ah, uh, no, that won't work. Is there any point to activating these anymore? Nope. It will protect the peace and safety of Xaphia's castle. I will not allow anyone to perpetrate injustice. There's Patty. What are you doing wandering around? I'm making sure you guys aren't causing any trouble. I see. You're wandering around so you can cause some trouble. Uh, no, I said... Eh, never mind. I'm so glad that Estelle's back. And that we didn't have to kill her. Yeah, I feel the same. If... we hadn't been able to bring her back, would you really have killed her? Why do you ask? Because... I don't know, is what I'd like to say. But if Estelle hadn't heard my voice when she did, I probably would have killed her. How can you go to such lengths knowing it's going to hurt you? Estelle's my friend, and I can't let a stranger take care of my friend's problem. Besides, I'm not the one who it hurts the most. A friend's problem? Yuri, you're really strong. Strong, huh? I don't know about that. But what about you? Did you forget your search for the Maristella? Right now, I'm focusing on beating the bad guys. Besides, I haven't forgotten. If anything, I've got a great memory. A great memory, huh? Ugh. What's wrong? Y Yuri, I... I'll never forgive Alexei. Could she have remembered parts of her past? Sacrificing someone for his own desires? I could never forgive that. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's why, um... We can't let Alexei get away with what he's done. No, he can't. Oh, right, Yuri. Guess what? The Maritime Guild, Gulsong, is rushing to fix our ship. Gulsong? Isn't that Tokunaga's guild? Yep. We'll be able to use the Fiertia in no time. All right, then we'll use that to take Alexei down. Of course! So, uh, Yuri? Patty. Huh? If you're having difficulty saying it, there's no need to force yourself. I'll listen when you're ready to talk, so go get some sleep. Good night. Yuri, I... I'll tell you someday. She definitely knows something we don't hear, huh? Something about Alexei. Okay, I think the West Wing might have Judith. There, or actually it's the Central Wing. What are you doing, Judy? I'm trying to see if I can contact Pharaoh again. If Zauda is connected to the ancient catastrophe, Pharaoh might know something about it. Isn't he gonna ask about Estelle? I'll tell him it looks like everything will be okay. Alright, thanks. You know, the only real goal I've had in life has been to destroy the Hermes Blastia. I didn't have to think about other things while I was doing that. Other things? Oh, this world. Me. Lots of things. Had I never met Estelle, I might still be flying around with Ba'ul, not thinking of anything. Pharaoh said you'd change too. Don't get me wrong. I'm telling him Estelle will be alright because I really believe it. I have no intention of ignoring the Blastia or the air. Is that part of the lots of things you mentioned? <sighs> Sorry, forget I said that. I won't kill Estelle. 
Nor will I let her be killed. I also can't let Alexei go on. Okay. We head out tomorrow morning. Just get back by then. Understood. Judy. Hmm? Let's win this one. Okay. Oh, I feel sick. I'm so done with being a knight. And with what Alexei did, nobody respects knights anymore. Well, there's still Flynn. Ready to call it a day? You coming too, Rapide? <laughs> Tomorrow, we fight. Hope everybody can get some sleep. Well, before we go to Zalde, we might want to take care of any altered art grinding or skill grinding we might need to do. Going already? It looks like things here won't be settled for a while. I had hopes that we'd have the guild ships at our disposal. I heard they've been having some issues. It seems they've been unable to decide on a course of action since the Dawn's passing. It looks like I'll be one step behind you again this time. No hard feelings, no matter which of us gets to Alexei first, right? Oh yeah, are you done trying to get Estelle back? I mean, she's still a princess, and what about all that stuff with the Imperial succession? The Council has chosen Yoder as their leader. For all intents and purposes, he's got their nomination for the throne. Hmm, okay. So that's why you don't need to chase her around anymore? That's not it. It's just that I've finally come to terms with the choices she's made for herself. Wow, you sure loosened up. Don't give me a hard time. It's something I've had to struggle with in my own way. Well, she'd be happy to hear it. I'll bring the problems of the air and the Blastia to His Highness's attention. He'll be able to come up with some way of helping, I'm sure. As for Lady Estelise, Yuri, you have my confidence. I appreciate it. Sorry for being such a pain. Well, I'm gonna get going. See you at Zaude. As far as anyone is concerned, the capital was retaken because of my efforts. It isn't just with this, though. No one even knows the things you've... No. That brave Vesperi has done. They don't even try to learn the truth. Are you really okay with that? Well, Yuri's not in it for glory. He's in it to get stuff done. He's to pursue his own brand of justice, so, uh, we'll leave at once when the ship is ready. I have a few scores to sell with the captain. Morning, Yuri! Yuri, you're such a sleepyhead. <sighs> Looks like I overslept a little. My hair is a mess. Is that all you're worried about? <laughs> Sounds like we're all good. Here you go. You pulled it off. Now, we just need Judy and Estelle. Here I am. Good morning, everyone. Oh, morning, Judith. Were you able to get in touch with Pharaoh? Yes, but you won't like what he told me about Zauda. He says it's a place that must be left undisturbed, by both into Lakea and humans. I wonder why. Such an encouraging send-off. Well, it's not like we can just say, oh, thanks for telling us, and not go. Alexei's at Zaude, and I'm really not in the mood to just let him go. We can't just turn back now. You're right. Pharaoh will have to understand. We already came this far. We can't stop now. Besides, if we just ignore him, the whole world's gonna be in all kinds of trouble. That's the spirit. Now we just need Estelle. Rita, did you see her? Estelle won't be coming. Hmm? She can't fight anymore. Wait, you don't mean... The control was a success, but she needs to avoid air interference in order to keep her power from activating. Huh? But all Blastia need air to work, don't they? Yes, so I tried the same thing as Raven. 
using her own life energy for power. Are you serious? I really wouldn't recommend that. I couldn't find any other way. At least she can use formulas without worrying about air. But it's not just controlling the power of the child of the full moon. Even Arts will use her life. Every single TP spent. And even a pineapple gel will not fix this. She could be in serious danger if she had to exert herself. Oh no! So she won't be coming with us anymore. And was she okay with that? No. Estelle! Hey! Y you're just here to see us off, right? Rita, I'm sorry. Please take me with you. What did I tell you? You'll lose your life just by using your arts. You could go on living with no problem if you just wouldn't use them. I sat up all night thinking about what you told me. At first I thought, finally, I'll be able to live a normal life. Yeah, you've suffered enough. You can rest now. Thank you, Rita. You all are risking your lives to fight. Even the fate of this world is at stake. Knowing that, my only choice is to fight alongside you. Estelle. There are still things I can do for my friends. So I'm asking you, please, take me with you. I want to tell you now, but you decided this for yourself. I won't turn you down. Yes, and she doesn't really listen when she sets her mind to something. Ah, well, let's take her. Nobody likes having their friends run off to steal all the fun. Yeah, we'll all help out to make this easy on her. We're gonna blow that scoundrel away! Promise me one thing. You will never, never push yourself too hard. Got it? I'll never forgive you if you break that promise. All right. <laughs> Trying to forbid this bunch from pushing themselves is pretty pointless. Thank goodness. It looks like I made it in time. Huh? Prince Yoder and Flynn, too? My, what an honor for His Highness to see us off himself. There you go again with that attitude of yours. You may have already heard, but the supply of ships has been delayed, so the knights are not yet able to leave for battle. Under normal circumstances, the knights should be the ones taking the initiative here. But you civilians have shouldered it. As head of the Empire, I must apologize. Don't sweat it. It's not like we're doing this for the Knights or for the Empire anyway. This may be a bit presumptuous, but I would like to ask that you take Flynn in their place. Huh? Your Highness? At this moment, both in name and in substance, Flynn is the greatest Knight in the Empire. I am sure that he will be of great use to you. Wouldn't you agree? But I... I must command the knights. As soon as the knights are ready, I will send them after you. You should be able to entrust your men with that much. Besides, are you not the one who desires most to settle things personally with Alexei? Your Highness. I, Eodor Argrios Hirasain, hereby command you on behalf of the Empire. Imperial Knight Flynn Shifo, join forces with the Guild, Brave Vesperia, and stop Alexei. Yes, sir. You heard His Highness. I'll be counting on you, Yuri. Even if I refused, you'd still come along, wouldn't you? So our next problem is just how to go about actually getting to Zauda. That's already been handled, right, Judy? Yes, of course. We still have that important friend of ours. He's recovered by now? Baul, is he okay? I told you, he's strong. Yep, we'll be able to use the Fiertia in no time. So everything's ready. This is it, the final battle. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Determine Princess Title. Reunite of everyone. Thanks for tuning into this Let's Play of Tales of Vesperia. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.